So we released our album in uh, 2021, uh, yeah, in February, uh, called Archean, and um, yeah, that was released by our uh, two labels uh, in Germany, Bretold Records, and in uh, Holland, uh, Zenith Records. Uh, so we just released the album, and uh, we're starting to find venues where we can play this music, which is of course a bit hard uh, because of the pandemic. Uh, but we play in Brebo and in um, Verkadefabriek and in Lantaarnvenster the upcoming months. And uh, we hope to play a lot more. <laughs> yes. Uh, our long-term plan is, um, that's also the reason, uh, or part of the reason why we have a German label, is because we're a German-Dutch band, we really want to play also uh, outside the Netherlands. So long-term plan is to, to find our audience, especially in the German-spoken countries. Uh, since since we have a little review and some press there, so long term plan is to to broaden the uh, our music to towards especially the German spoken countries and hopefully further than that. And we already yeah our our, our albums are always kind of uh, chronological like Nebula was the beginning of stars, and Arkin is now the beginning of a, a fictional planet. Uh, so we are looking for. Uh, a new story we can tell, which happens after this, uh, to to uh, yeah to continue our our story. So we're already thinking of new music and new ways to implement it into our sound and to get inspired. So I think that's the long long term plan. Yeah, yeah. Uh, our scientific approach in our music is um, mainly because we think we are uh, storytellers uh, we, sp we tell atmospheric narrative yeah we make atmospheric narrative music and uh, within our concept we think it's really important especially as the music gets 
harder and more improvised to tell a really clear story or to give people a, a feeling on, on what it is about, to, to give them grips uh, on our music. So that's why we always, uh, it's not really invent, but we, because we, we also really get inspired by it and we, we make music around it. But it's also, so it's a way for us to, to get grip on the music and to tell a story, but it's also for the audience to, to have a better understanding of what improvised music is and how, how we communicate to each other, but also uh, to you as an audience. Uh, I don't think we have to explain it literally, but I, I, I like to trigger the imagination in a way. So for example, we have a, on the new album, we have a song Pangea, uh, and I really hope there's a certain moment you can really hear those, uh, those continents clashing with each other. Like th those little things, uh, I really enjoy uh, composing, but I also enjoy if an audience is like, oh yeah, I can hear this. And it's not really about the story we tell, but it's also about the feeling which comes across, which has a better, uh, I hope they have a better grip on the, on the feeling then.